Pino Black folks, and this is all night shots right now, live. We're at Huntsville, and basically you lay down, the, that's the north, your arrow. If you lay down on the ground, you're basically going to have uh, the west here. Okay, the north will be there, but the west is here, and this is east. Because I just went outside, and that should be the moon right there. And this should be, I believe, either... Um, well, I don't want to misquote, but anyway, well, I guess I can go to the plot map here real fast. But basically, this is just going to give us constellations. So when you're, and like I was right, basically, so they got it set up too. So the idea that that's east and that's west. So exactly when you're looking at it. So you get the constellations, what's up there shining. So you pretty much know that the idea that since the moon is, let's go back to that shot right there. So the idea that it's planets, not constellations. But I guess it could be, that possibly could be, constellation. But I really doubt it. It's that it's that one there, because that one's way lower than the horizon should be. So this is New Mexico skies. So basically, I've got about 8, 19 Central Standard Time today. So you want to look at this stuff at about an hour earlier than now. Because you can end up seeing uh, a couple of planets that get uh, mirrored down here to Earth. And basically you might be able to get it a little bit. Here they are in the New Mexico sky again. I was back to New Mexico. And we'll see where I was at a second ago. But you can see that there. And that could be what we have coming up. Like we know this is west. This is what we might have always coming up in the action that we see down in... Uh, Nehemiah Station, okay? That dark line that we get in whatever, they get 23 to 24 hours of daylight, but that dark halo that we get, and then also our 3D or 4D and our object that's in front of either Rigel Canteris B, supergiant action, anyway, that comes up in the east, because right now, UTC time down there, we are. And currently... We are 2.20 GMT UTC, which is Zulu time, okay? As the world churns, there you go. There's your current time right up here in the corner, UTC time. So, a little bit of quick action. We had a 4.4 up in Alaska, which looks like a 5.4. Like I said before, the pr footprint looks bigger. Sure doesn't look like a 4.4, does it, folks? Okay. And like I say, this is less than a week's time here. I'll draw up. Okay. That's less than a week's time. Okay. So we've had some very massive earthquake action. And everybody who's got power and control doesn't want to let anybody get too awful nervous about earthquake activity. Major earthquake activity all over the frigging world. Okay. That's just about a week, folks. Not even a week, I don't think. Okay? Right down to currently. And then we got a 4.8. And a hit now, and maybe we'll even change on something. And actually, we do change on something. We got a 3.0 now back over in the West Coast, United States. Probably Nevada. So, there you go. So, currently, we still got the sun solar flare and its ass off. And uh, I'll go to some other action here, basically get the clock down there so you can see that. It's big CME there because basically it distorts the camera. Yeah, they don't want me telling you that, but basically the satellite gets a big CME, all the satellite action in the mirrors and everything. So that's action there at the sun. And then also we have... Now as this plays, folks, I want you to realize that I know that I've been able to pick up possibly two objects, okay? You will see it pretty much x-ray it from the power of the sun. It'll x-ray the objects that are there. There's basically an object there. And there's also an object where it blacks up right up here, okay? You see it black up there, and it'll black there, and again it'll black there. And what that is, is let's, let's check this out. So here we go currently, 
<coughs> there's your freshest there. Okay, Earth, Venus, and so forth, and so on. And then you're going to have the moon, and you'll see, you go out at night, and you'll see that, and so forth. And I'm going up through this. Remember, you're sitting right here in the middle. The sun would be in the middle. And then you got Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and their Venus down there. And also, basically, you can get a mirror of a planet right there from a big glow from the suns and from Venus. So, as you can see, there, that's either a mirror image of Venus, and we'll have to come back and study that on the video and probably the next video. I'll try to study on that. But what I'm trying to show is basically they don't like that. They're trying to throw a virus in there. There is a planet right there. You can see it there, and I don't want to blow it up anymore here on this one. I just popped into this, but what I noticed was I found it on the na Navy shop. And basically, I messed up bringing too many windows in because basically, you'll see basically if you sit back and look at this, put, it, put yourself on full screen, and you will see these solar blasts here hitting a planet, whether it's this small here of about like that, or whether it's actually this daggone big, like something like this, or actually what I'm seeing is a shadow circular like this. Okay, so blow this up full screen, and you will see that these solar flares, when there's nothing there, even it deflects a little bit off that humongous planet there, which I'm not sure, and we got a humongous comet going by right there. And what I did is I blew up earlier, and I'll hopefully go to the pictures, and you basically can also, when you just let me sit it here at this shot here, you see these CMEs, which normally stream out just like this, or something real powerful like that one there, but we'll see when it hits something, so there's a planet there. There's something there. Okay? There's a planet there. And you can pretty much see it. Okay? If you blow this up to and give yourself a little bit of different light at 400 degrees, take a flashlight and kind of flash it at your screen. And you will see the blackness show up a little bit more in certain areas. We'll move your head around. And basically also right here. Okay? This one here was very present. Because I'm at my pictures, folks, and basically what I did is I was like, well, what is this flares? Because see how these are shooting out so good? What is this hitting? You see? So I zoomed or started looking in, and also you can see what I'm basically seeing when I was showing you earlier. If you look right there, you'll see this gigantic shadow right there that these flares are hitting. So there's a planet there. And more than likely, there is probably something in this here way out. As you can see, almost a planet right there. And basically, like I'm saying, right here, it's hitting something. And let me just keep going through the pictures here real fast, and you'll see what I'm kind of seeing and zoomed in. And I zoomed in on this one, on that same shot, and you should be able to see it there. And basically, an outline around here, perfectly circular. And we know that, like, when uh, if the sun's putting off a shadow, and it's not because it's all, this is solar flare. This is all flame, folks, going out into space. And basically, it's hitting whatever this planet is right there. Okay? And it, Basically, it's part of the super giant's main sequence, and you can see it there. That's how I noticed it, okay? You can see it there, hitting a planet, okay, on that shot there. And then also on this shot, and if you look at this, the Navy to that, it'll match up. This shot basically matches up to be the same object right there, okay? And so there's your C3 time and everything like that, and we move down, and basically it, it's bam. It's like right there I saw it, and there's that halo that we get. Also, in the darkness, so dark light. So let me go ahead and um, zoom in on this. And basically, what I did, what I did is I had to try to make uh, the sun the same size, i.e., the same size as the other Lasco. This is Lasco two, okay? This is Lasco two, C two, okay? Same sat, well, the satellite system. Okay, and basically you see this planet that I had zeroed in over here earlier. This basically more than likely there for sure. Okay, you can pretty much see that planet right there. It's a planet. Like I say, it's not a mirror of of the sun. It's it, that's actually flame there showing you that. I.e., I pop back to C3 and you can see it here, a little, little bit different angle. Okay, and you can't miss it. You can see this flare shooting out no problem, but this here flare here is hitting it. And either if not, if it's not hitting it, it's basically the, the glow from this flare here is letting you see that object right there. Circular object right there. You can't miss it. Okay, so the black and whites are great to look at because you get this awesome imagery basically because I'm going to pop down to 400% here real fast. And basically, bam, you can see that planet right there. You can see the circular. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see it.
So the sun is in the super giants getting its ass kicked. So i.e. the sun sorry about the mic check folks, but basically i.e. the sun is in the super giants getting its ass kicked. Okay. Something's rolling around in the sun that we can see from so the other scientists or astronomers out there that actually know about the super giants and so forth, what I'm beginning to believe is either it's following along and hitting this area right there, right now in the main sequence, or it's re-entering this elbow of the main sequence. Okay, this is super giants main sequence, folks, and this white dwarf stars is what gives that halo to the the sun on that one side. Okay, and the sun is but a little speck in this supergiant's main sequence. And there are these objects, these dots that you see in here, the real reddish ones, are four to seventy-eight times the size of the sun. Okay. Yes, these are temperature readings and everything like that. But at the same time, the idiot that basically thought he knew everything about uh, Hertzberg maps is the idea that they're still showing you how the constellation that they just basically show you the constellation and then they give you the old Hertzberg and they give you the Meg they basically give you a guide to go by by the color of your deal so the redder ones or the hotter ones the G's are 5000 K and the O's are 30 K okay so when you go into a spectral class of here, the reddish ones are 3,000K, which are cooler. I might have misquoted myself a little while ago. But then your 4,000K are that color. That color is your 5,000, your G, and zero is your 30K. Okay, and then you have your luminosity size, absolute magnitude. Okay. So that's the Supergiant's main sequence, folks. It's up there, and the sun is somewhere he between here and here. Okay? And like I say, it's either getting into this big action here. As you can see, there's very big ones in there. And also, either that or it's here. It's somewhere in this area. Okay? Because it's been, we know, at least here for quite a while. So it's somewhere between here and here. And how fast is it moving? And how fast are we going to pick up speed? Because we follow the sun. So basically I can pull you in here and bring you into solar of recent pictures and we can also go up and take a look at what we see all the way cooler area because the brink the bright yellow on that one or orange is just going to those flares that's the hottest spots okay and like I say I think something's been rolling around i.e. those big planets we see and basically we know the colorization okay so I think like I say, this is picking up and getting hot again, but I think something's rubbing and hitting down here or been bumped into of the supergiants against the sun, as you can see, because it's very cool here and starting to pick up heat up there again. So we've seen a very good shot the other time when I first said that, and basically, like I say, don't let the magnetogram mess you up because the idea that we know that it's, like I showed you in the magnetic basically the grays earlier that the sun is getting its eyes and you can see how much movement is going on around by the sun folks okay and the flaring and as you can see it's flaring here and here and here also okay so there's some action up in space for you and ie earthquake action because we've got we're off like normal on the south pole and but really important is to look at the center with basically our auroral is right there. North Pole's off big time. So we're doing a nice twist, folks. The Earth is twisting. And basically, Helio Viewer had a video that basically got pulled back, folks. And basically what it is, is it's, there is your number on that video. That video got pulled off by Helio Viewer. And basically seeing the same thing I'm going to be able to show you by going back. Hang on. Basically looked like it was hit, hitting a planet. A solar flare hit a planet right there. I'm going to blow that up. And I apologize about calling it a planet, but a dead planet. And as you can see, so here I was able to blow up to a thousand percent and they don't like me showing it folks. Like I say, they pulled this off. So there's a small dead planet up by the sun and we know way more than that. So the super giants is bleeding folks. There's tons of super giants up there around the sun. And as you can see folks, all these down here are way bigger than earth. Earth is just but a grain of this photo area up there and by the sun folks. More super giants maps in the, in the next month.